Ah, oh, I'm a lonely human. You seem fairly made <laughs> You got a tuna! Who is a friend? What? I said hi. How'd you go, Damn. Nope. <laughs> Even tuna says no. The tuna jumps from my hands right over the edge of my boat. And just like that, I'm back to square one. Hopefully I'll get another catch soon. Let's no talk. I knew I was too smart to be just an octopus. Jump into <laughs> <laughs> ah, for catching dinner. Why don't you just eat me up? <laughs> Out like calamari. <laughs> well, you're not just a pretty face. You're stupid too. Since the assignment were compatible. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> Look, I can't keep telling you no. Because you want to say yes? Bye. She flops out of the boat, looking rather saddened. She turns back into an octopus and swims out of sight. Ah, oh, I love a human. You seem fairly made in <laughs> It's very good of you to fish me up like that. But I am a kind jellyfish who is of royal blood. So I will forgive you. I don't need your forgiveness. I'll also grace you with my presence for a bit longer, since I am so generous. Wait. I push her right out of my boat and she falls into the water <laughs> and <I'm> yelling <laughs> it. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to get caught in your hook. I know you must have been trying to catch a fish. The boots in this lake talk too. I suppose I do talk. Sorry if I startled you. This won't do at all. <laughs> I'm not going to feed my family a talking boot. I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to interrupt your fishing. What should I do with her? Reprimand her for not being a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Even so, you've wasted valuable time <laughs> to, to catch an actual fish. Or you'll even do in that guy on my hook. Oh, I was, uh, doing long forgotten boot things. Oh. Like, just sitting there in the bottom of the lake and waiting for something to happen. Not much happens in the life of a boot. And the fish in the lake don't talk to me. Not even Tuna. And Tuna will talk to ever anyone. I used to belong to a guy named Johnny. He came to this lake for some work. Sort of ended up drowning somehow. I had a twin too, but she's long gone now. Boot really knows how to make the atmosphere grim. I should probably change the subject. Make small talk about the weather. <laughs> make small talk about the nuclear properties of this lake. Nuclear properties of the lake? <laughs> or, make small, or make small talk about your favorite type of shoes. No. That's just gonna be segregation. So... You're a shoe. <laughs> uh, yes. Shoes are pretty cool. <laughs> Shoes are pretty cool. Especially Crocs. <laughs> yeah. Crocodiles? No. These things yes. that I'm wearing. Oh, nice. I'm canonically oh, yeah. wearing Crocs. Some random person just invited me to their uh, Pokemon Unite team. Just keep, make sure to keep <laughs> track of where they are. This lake doesn't need any more random junk in it. Seem pretty worried about the state of, it, state of this lake for a boot. I am worried. I mean, the nuclear waste is pollution, right? We are talking so, about it. But anyway. so am I. It's 
probably why the fish don't talk to me. I wish I wasn't a boot in the lake. I didn't choose this life for myself. You didn't have any control over it. Why well, feel bad? Because I have an effect on the health of this lake, whether I like it or not. We should send her off to like a little bench on the side of the lake and then keep fishing. No. I thought you were going to say to boot camp. <laughs> no, no, that's so good. I wish I said that. I'm valued nowhere. Your life is boot. At the what about valuing yourself? How could I value? You? You're a person now. You don't need to go back in the lake. You are an object to be wanted by others. If I take you to shore, you could do whatever you wanted. Go! <laughs> go. be anything. You're right. You think I need to see value in myself. Once you do that, others will be sure to follow. Wow. Well, I guess, would it be too much to ask for you to take me to Shawnee? I want to go somewhere where I can feel happier about myself. Consider it done. You to Shore. She seems a bit nervous about her future. We're certain she'll discover something about herself that lets her feel better about herself. <laughs> We part ways as she begins walking towards the road and you head back out onto the lake to catch her family's dinner. You don't hear from or about her for years until one day you read the morning paper and see a familiar face. And then the next week you see her face in the paper again, and the week after that too. To say that Boot had been busy is a, uh, an understatement. She solved the murder of her late owner Johnny. Because <laughs> remember Johnny drowned in the lake and dropped Boot in there? Right? Yeah. Apparently he was murdered. She shut down Damn. the factory up the load up the road. She's uncovered a scheme involving the illegal displacement of various marine species to ne nearby lakes. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. One of your friends comes to you with a crayon drawing of boot, saying that they'd like to be like her one day. You couldn't be prouder. I'm gonna throw them into a lake. <laughs>